Hey guys, welcome back to TVJS with the uh, Minecraft Big Beast. Yeah. Uh, I have quite a lot to do today, so there'll be a lot of cutscenes. Um, there'll be a lot of cutscenes that we need to show you. But one of the main thing is to show you. We did do this last episode. You may remember, so I'm patch that wall up. We got that's not all that. If you think that's all the copper we've got, you you are gonna be madly mistaken. But come down here. We've got these now, so this is just because we, we did install nuclear power down there. But this is just in case like we don't really want to like make more uranium cells. And so this is these are thermal generators. They're like an upgrade to the uh, to the geothermal generators. And there, they're very good. Um, I'm just gonna show you some. We've kind of moved all our stuff down here. Look, this is this was what was all in our house. I'm gonna show you why. Because. Um, look over here. You'll see we have done a bit of like terraforming in our house. Um, yeah, we've kind of cleared everything out, and we've got a new room with these shell things. I like the shells; like pretty cool. This is Tom's side, my side. Uh, yeah, we've got all our china books up there. Everything in this side of the room pretty much stayed the same, but we have a bigger storage. <laughs> I've literally just done this today. Uh, we had nothing to do yeah. um, as to doing a project, so we wanted to save the project for the episode. So me and Mike, well, Mike made the design of the room, but we've been um, just putting in chests and um, sorting everything out into our own individual barrels. <coughs> so um, yeah, the other thing about this room is we put something in there. So we've got like one bit of dirt. How many dirt's in there at the moment? See, that's a 16. Like a stack out something. Yes, it's 16. Put one in there. Yeah. Any time now. <laughs> Come on, you can don't do it. Don't make us look. There we go. Don't, don't make us look stupid. Okay, there we go. Right, yeah. So we've got a, a sawing system. It's not actually the sawing machine. It's just a. I can't go in that way because it'll break the thing. It's just a timer which is going onto a filter which then pulls things out of that goes into Mac tubes and the Mac tubes are really smart so they'll just find a place where it can fit into. Anything with the, with the filter instead of the soil machine is that um, with the filter you have to have every space filled up with the soil machine you can just put it into whatever. Um, but yeah I think it looks pretty pretty sexy delicious to be honest. Tom came in was like I thought it was like a cliff or something he was like oh the bottom one's gonna be well hard to get to that went down like oh their stairs. Wow. But anyway, we yeah guys, uh, we are going to be doing a lot of things. Episode I've already said. Let me just sort these out because I've already got things for these. Um, for things that we don't have for, they'll just go all the way around and come back to this golden chest. Uh, but yeah, uh, what we're going to be doing today, guys, guys, we're going to be making a new quarry with two energy test racks. Four item test racks. Um, uh, three induction furnaces, three macerators. Yeah, three macerators. About I want to make about sixty. This, this is Tom. I haven't told Tom this yet. I want to make about sixty-four. Um, so maybe not sixty-four actually. Maybe like ten. That's a better number. Ten electrical engines to go into the energy test rack. Um, Why don't we use biomass here so we haven't got a use for biomass? Yeah, sure, we can use biomass, but electrical engine is much more sustainable because then we can just keep using it over and over again instead of biomass. I mean, like. Yeah, we could just pump it out of the biomass thing. Oh, okay, well, fine, fine, Tom. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, uh, so 10 biomass engines, 4 item test racks. Let's make it 20 biomass engines. 20? We've got to max out on everything. Alright. The list of what we need will be on screen now, right? So that's twenty biomass engines, four item test type item tesseracts, two energy tesseracts, three rotary macerators, three rotary macerators, three induction furnaces, a whole load of pneumatic tubes, and well, a couple of chests, a couple of chests. I say about, I'd say about a gate, a couple of touch gates. Yeah, fifteen or touch gates. There you go. That is what we need to do. All right. So I'm going to do a lot of cutscenes now of making this crap and we'll be back in a sec. Well, we'll be back in like three seconds. Yeah. Alright, back in a sec.
three rotary ration rate is made next. To, wait, Tom's making twenty biomass engines. <laughs> twenty biomass engines, which is over like how much bronze? About. Well, we're gonna need over two hundred bronze, which is over about. Oh, that's Five about stacks. twenty. Nah, it's gonna be over about ten stacks of copper because. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it might not be, but I've probably done that calculation completely wrong. But it's a lot of copper. Alright. Right. So, yeah, that's three row mass rate down. Rory mass rate is done. I'm going to start making on three induction furnaces. Right. Induction, three induction furnaces made. Tom is still working on his biomass engines. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to be working on next. I'm probably just going to make a whole load of pneumatic tubes. I'll just make like, a stack of pneumatic tubes. So, yeah. Once again, I'm back in a sec. Cord. How many pews have you got on your forehead? <laughs> <laughs> on your forehead. I've got like 17 on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright. Alright, the band done, guys. <laughs> Tom, shut up! <laughs> right, we're done, guys, and I've got three row mass rates, three induction furnaces. Tom has made his 20 biogas engines after like at least 20 minutes, and I've made a stack of the Mac 2s. Next, I'm going to make Mike. about 20 of these. Mike. Yes. You haven't sent anything round on the uh, the filter, have you? Yeah, I have, but it's what? in there now. Oh, okay, good. So yeah, um, uh, next I'm gonna make like twenty or touch gates. So once again, I right, guys are back and uh, I've got all the stuff we need. I've even thrown a chunk loader because I think we'll need a chunk loader for the test racks that'll be over there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get first. Of all, what we're gonna do uh, is we are going to. Going to set up the power, like energy test, right? The this thing. So we're gonna need, we're gonna need. Let's chuck everything that we don't need. So we're gonna need a wrench, obviously. Energy test rack, obviously. Energy conduit. The engines. I will probably eventually replace these with electrical, seeing as we have like unlimited supply of electrical. Um. Biomass. Lava cell. Hmm. That should be everything. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna have it on the floor like that. Oh wait, let's put these down first. Make more sense. Put these down. One, two, three, four, five. I only wanted to put twenty, so we're only gonna have it like that, and that's just gonna be where the test track will be. can hear that I'm sorry but I've got some like interference coming through and I don't know what it is. <laughs> so that yeah. Oh my god. Stick lit. I've got like some I don't know, I've got like some uh, what do you call it? Got, like um delay with what I do. special one doesn't it? It always has to like come and ruin everything. Right. Speaking about you Tom. Get rude. Oh god come on. Right, we should have enough engines to power two quarries, but we're only doing one just for this test. Um and then that is not gonna be oh. You're missing one. No, I put too many 
many down. <laughs> Absolutely special today, alright? Because these is not right. Uh, you have to make sure these are orange, because orange is taking the input. And just have to put in there, put in there, put in there, put in there. Put them back. Put them right. Put them right. I'm going to fill all these up with biomass and we'll be back in like three seconds. No, the end of tank. Where? Should use one. Hmm? Should use an end of tank. Use an end of tank. For what? For biomass from biocore. Go on, bottom ones needs biomass before you use all of them up. I'm only putting three in each one and then I'll start separating out all of them. Switch if I were you. Said. The blocks are all on here. What? 
and then you put redstone on top, powers one's next to it, and powers one below. That's as well. literally what I just said. You put said blocks put in between blocks it. in between it. Where's in between, Mike? In between the two engines, that are like on the top and on the side. So it's not in between. It's like on the corner. It's not in between. It's in the middle. Where? Where's in in the middle? If you if you were looking at it from here, just looking at these two engines, wherever you say the middle of them is, the it'd be here where the oh, redstone oh. thing is. In between, I thought you meant like in the middle. Oh, because there's redstone thing there. If I just did that, for fuck's sake! What's hard to get to? Huh? Like put in the freaking. We have to put the wire under here for these two. It's stupid. But like the wire. Yeah, you put it on the top again for them.
We probably wouldn't have done this if we didn't have nuclear power. Oh Tom. god! Oh god! My tesseract frame is in the ender pearl thingy. I have to pull it out, otherwise it might get melted or something. Yeah. Tom put this in. Uh, this is connected to our uh, thing in BioCorp. It's just a basically another one of that thing over there. But it's colour coded. It's colour coded. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's colour coded. Got yellow, yellow. And I don't white. know why we chose check yellow when it's green. That's because that's the first flower Tom find. Um, even though he could have just found green because he could have just went to the cat as well, but you know. Yeah, alright, I'll give us that. Yeah, this is connected to our massive tank, so that's going to pretty much always have biomass. Um, this t this lever turns all of them on, which will give energy to. Oh, 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 Mike! Oh, 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 Tom! Is that, is that, is that not? Oh, you're a spesh, you know that. Alright, we, we, we got this sorted, guys. We're, we're thinking around the box. Well, about, no. about the box. Do that. We're gonna need like a bit more alloy wire. Need one more. There we go. Right. Right. This is <laughs> yeah. See that? Just flew across there. Right. This. That thing's really annoying me. Look at it. Like. Doesn't want to show its face now. It's just like someone's that. sucking off this end. Right, let's try. Let's try and get it going. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, there it is. There he is. Nice. Alright. So yeah, this is uh, where the quarry items will come. Only some of them, like the ores. Quarry items from the quarry. That's what it's set to. We'll go into this chest first, and then we need a timer here. <laughs> yeah, we need a timer. Um, Tom, can you make a timer? Basically, what we'll do is we'll. Uh, take the ores from here, which will come from here, which will come from the quarry. It will go to this, and it will just be on like a pulse type thing when we get a timer. It will just be on a pulse over here. Just keep chucking these up. And because the new Mac tubes are like so amazing, they only come out when there's space for it, so. Oh, my home phone's going off. Um, yeah, they'll only just come off for like. Only if there's space, so if there's any copper in there, tin in there, and iron in there, then. Uh, silver won't go in there because there's no room for it. Got these which will uh, take the um, items out. So I have to set them all to pulse. Uh, I'll take items out when there's something in here. Um, once they've been macerated, they'll all go into an induction furnace, which will smelt them. Hope we're trying to get it out to one hundred percent before we actually start it. And more gates here, which will do the exact same thing as them, uh, which will then go up there. I had to put uh, stone and cobblestone and stone again so they didn't connect and go into it like each of these again. So they go up into here, go up to this item test, right? which goes to our storage, which I can show you, which will go to, if I put it right, yeah, like this one. Uh, I have to get it to receive. Receive from storage and just disable the redstone signal. So now I'm going to this chest, which this chest already, if you just put like what's closest, got anything close, a bit of beef. Right. Put the cooked porch up in there, it says 12, and then it'll go 16. So, um, To uh, that, which will sort into these for items that aren't uh, for items that go to the uh, smelter and the macerator and all that cell we had over there that isn't in these barrels, it'll just come all the way around here and just go into this chest. Let me decide what um, what uh, we did, what we're meant to do with that. So, um, we're gonna get the quarry started. Oh, I don't know if I showed you the power thing, I think I did. Right, so we have the. This is our cell for the quarry, 64 by 64, which is a max a chunk loader. So this thing will always work. Energy tesseract will put um, energy for the quarry into the quarry. You have to put it right next to it. Uh, it will take the items out into here, and we're having tin, silver, lead, copper, iron, and gold. I'll go into here, which goes into that production bit we had. 
anything else just go up there into these Tom's I think working on a second uh, item uh, test rack but he wants to just go to like um, things that we have in the uh, things that we have it already in the barrels that we just go straight to there instead of like, putting them in chests coming to get them later it's pretty good to do um, so yeah we'll be back to you when, when we see some of these ores working and going at it like animals do on the discovery channel alright guys we are back and it's finished yeah oh wait I can't even oh wait I'm not in the server <laughs> Sorry guys, I, I, I was just testing something from the single player. We're trying to get Dark Iron. You are... Yeah. Wow, you are very lucky. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't even put this dirt in here because there's this dirt's full. Um, nah, no. Nah. Because uh, so, we put the quarry on. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll mention that at the end, Tom. I'll show them this first. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is my, this is my singing voice. Do you like it? <laughs> so yeah, this is what happened. Items coming in from the quarry into this thing, into this thing, into this thing, through here. Macerated, no, macerated, melted, goes into it and then goes into the sorting thing back there, which is where all the dirt's gone into. And now the dirt barrel's full. So I'm just gonna show you what happens. Got a bit of iron ore here. Slap that in there. See, oh, that's just doing the copper at the moment. See, so now that's doing do all iron. That's doing tin. So there's tin, and there's copper, and there's iron. So this is basically what happens from our quarry. We just get macerated, turned into two, and smelted. And yeah, it's pretty amazing. I like it a lot, especially when you see loads of it come out like this. Like, I might go get three sacks just to show you. Um, uh, let's get some copper, some gold. Did I even just pick. Where's that gold on? Still there. Some gold and some. Iron again. Right. No, did I even get that? Did I just pick one iron up? That's just stupid. What? There you go. Alright. Um, Tom, do you want to explain while I show him this? Tom, do you want to explain what we're going to be doing after this? Well, well, probably not after, probably, okay. probably well, the next episode because it's coming up 30 minutes. Alright guys, well, basically this is just a hint for next episode. I'm going to explain it now. I'm probably going to explain it at the start of the episode. Um, I can't show you, but just to explain it without one mic showing that. Oh, well, I'll show more me. Um, whatever Mike's showing you. Um, our barrels are getting really full, and um, it took a long time to set this barrel room up that we, me and Mike had done, so we need to extend our barrels. So we're going to make um, into in Extra. Extra dimension. Bam. Yeah. Extra dimensional storage, which is an upgrade to the barrel, which then gives allows it to store 64 stacks of 64 times that by 64. So basically, you can have 64 barrels in one barrel. Let me just look up this. Think anyway. Um, that's what Mike tells me. So we need dark iron for that, and uh, we'll be getting that. Yeah. yeah. It, um, normally, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, what was I gonna say? What? Uh, yeah. Um, no, no, no. Uh, the normal barrel uh, does um, 64 stacks of 64, doesn't it? Well, if you put the extra dimensional storage on, it'll do. 1,024 stacks of 64, so, I think I was a bit wrong there, but you know, yeah, so that's quite a bit, <laughs> um, we probably won't be needing any more barrels, I also think we're probably going to extend the barrel room, the, uh, the sorting room, because uh, it's getting a bit messy, and this guy does not know to pick a fire with.
Right, see, so yeah, I'm just going to show you quickly what happens. Uh, there's that copper in there, gold in there, and iron in there. And they'll all start coming out. It looks pretty amazing when they're all coming out at the same time. Tom, John, come see it. It looks pretty beautiful. You know, with like different colours. Yeah, different colours. Look how amazing that looks. So basically, yeah, this is what happens to our quarry when it gets like all stuff in. It looks pretty amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. And you're wondering how we're, pour, uh, how we're powering this. Just look at our episode, uh, the previous one. Nope, the two, two episodes ago. It's called a new sort of power, where we inputted nuclear power, and we've already had to train. Oh, I've got to show you this. Just quick time before I end it. We already have to change it once. I've got some like shelves here with more, just in case. Got a reinforced door. Um, I did say to Tom, I'm probably going to put in another set of what you call it, another set of um, another nuclear reactor down there. At the moment, I don't really think we need it, but um, when we get things like matter fabricators going, when we have the big power machines, then uh, it yeah, because you don't really these don't really take that much energy consumption. So, but then again, we have got sixty million EU sat in there um, at one point. So, uh, yeah. um, I don't think that's really been anything else to show. Tom's already shown the fermenters. Um. Just in case you guys haven't seen, I think you have seen, but no, oh, no. Uh, yeah, you've pretty much seen everything in here. Also, guys, a little side project I might end up working on is going to be um, upgrading our our um, our blast furnace. Um, I need to upgrade it to the advanced, advanced, super advanced, advanced. Don't know this is the advanced casing. Um, which is chrome, so I'm going to be doing a lot. That's going to be our project to the side. So I'm not actually. I will show you. And iridium. Um, I will show you on the side how it's done, but um, I'm not going to like go to the effort to be showing you because I just don't think it's like uh, worth an episode. So I will show you within the episodes, but I'm not actually going to show you as an episode. If you kind of get what I mean. So that that's just one other thing that. Well, I tell you know. So um, yeah. wow, well, I can't believe that requires iridium. But well, everything requires iridium at some point. We need to start using iridium, to be honest. Mike, have you shown them our iridium supply? Um, so, look, I can, if you guys can hear my dog barking, I'm sorry, but yeah, there's a re got that stack of iridium, basically. He's gonna scratch my door open. All right, I'm gonna end this episode now before he comes in. Like, Rah! all right, uh, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe. Twitter's in the description, as always. Me and Tom will see you in the next episode of whatever we do. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day, and make sure you get to bed. Eat those green vegetables. And all the good stuff. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Eat them green vegetables. What the fuck?